Yeah, yeah. So when I was stalking your Instagram, I was like, I have to meet this yeah. girl. This girl. She's Hi, cute. sweetie. How old is she? She's about two now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she is so adorable. Ocean. Why ocean? Honestly, I like am so obsessed with baby names. <laughs> I had ocean for like a little boy in my notes yeah. for no reason. And my sister was like, that's just the best dog name. Oh, she is so, so cute. She's the best. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Lennon, thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. We're here in front of the beautiful TLA stage. This uh, is like yeah. a pretty infamous spot here in Philadelphia is on it? South Street. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I like really like this venue. Out. I really like this it. It's awesome. It's got a good vibe. First of all, Lennon Stella has got to be like the best name in the music industry. Like, wow, I'm going thank out, you. Like your mom had to have known, like when she named you that, like a Lennon Stella doesn't grow up to like be a hostess at Carabas. Like Lennon Stella, you are meant to be famous. Like that's the thing. Oh my God. Your mom had to have known that. Like she's a star. I mean, <laughs> I I guess I, being named after John Lennon is, kind, there's a yeah. pressure that comes there's with it. There's a little bit of pressure. pressure yeah. I have to say, 100%. It's like celebrity or bust. I yeah. mean, come on. <laughs> But congratulations, like this is such a transition for you. A very yeah. exciting time for you. It is, yeah, thank you. I mean, it gotta be bittersweet, you know, coming from Nashville, such a hit show. Everyone knows it, everyone loves it. You're playing a character though for so long. Now yeah. you kind of get to like switch gears yeah. and be yourself and like have a name for yourself. What is that, what is the transition like for you? Shockingly, it's been a pretty like smooth one. Yeah. Like honestly, that is, there is such a, being on a show for six years and like it is with a character and like these songs that people were fans of like weren't me like that wasn't me but like people there was like this a bit of pressure to like keep that sound and um so that was definitely something I like thought about when making the music and also yeah having that thing of like okay there's no I'm no longer a character like this is all me like you know it's like there's <laughs> <laughs> what you want to say Ocean you have you have something to contribute <laughs> Um, there's yeah, it's totally a different thing because like I'm the one driving it. You right. know what I mean? It's like all it's all on me. So that's both a good thing and also a really scary thing. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's super exciting. And this is your first ever tour, right? Yeah, first ever oh, tour. It's yeah. amazing. I know. It's honestly been like I didn't really know what to expect as far as like just the energy and obviously like I've performed a bunch, but like in different like one offs. Like I haven't done like a month of shows back to back, and right. also in a room full of people that literally came just for me. Like that is such a it's something I haven't felt before, so I'm just so I was not expecting it to be as warm and like like welcoming as it has been. I'm just like on cloud nine. Yeah. Genuinely, it's been so. Good. It's gonna be kind of surreal. I'm assuming uh, as someone who doesn't sing or have that experience, but someone singing your lyrics out like in the crowd, like that's got to be crazy. It's so crazy, especially with like the songs that are out and just like everyone singing every word, like screaming it back. Like it's just so so surreal yeah. like it really is so because like i was saying earlier like on instagram like you read these people like telling me how much they love it but it's like you don't it's so different when they're in your yeah. face like screaming you're like oh you actually yeah, listen have, actually like you faces. actually, actually they, they, have they have real faces like, yeah exactly like, you insane. breathe <laughs> yeah exactly this is crazy exactly that's amazing and so do you have any crazy tour demands like your first tour like do you have like special needs like uh, red M and M's, no purples. Oh my What's gosh! Like, I've been asked this. this, is all, this I mean, I mean, this is all new to you. I honestly, I just need some ocean with me. That's, That's like must. makes it such a difference for me. Yeah. Um, I not really. I'm pretty easy going to be yeah. honest. Like, I mean, I do like have to have my clothes like hang hung up for me like every day so I can like pick an outfit on the right. spot because I need like, to see it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's a bit diva ish, but like you know, that's pretty understandable. But no, like red. Red Skittles. I don't really Not yet. It's fine. This is only the first tour. Let's see what tour number three. Yeah. 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 Later on with like, you know, Five Sauce and the Chain Smokers. Yeah. Let's see what kind of demands yeah, exactly. you have later on this year. Exactly. Because you have a crazy year plan, like tour after tour. Like, is it uh, going to get old going to city to city or do you like the spontaneity of like something new every day? And I really like traveling? it. I really like it. I think that I'm pretty, like I am a homebody and I do like, like that is how I recharge is like being alone and being at home. Yeah. So. I think that once there's, like, a balance, if I just get, like, a week or two weeks at home, then I'll, like, recharge, and then I'm, like, right. ready to go. Like, yeah. that's that's all it is for me is I just need a second to, like, breathe and be alone, and then, then I'm, like, I live for this. This is so, like, just traveling and meeting people and just, like, I love that. Yeah. I just, I need a yeah. second to, like, be home. Yeah. Just, then just I, like, a second. Yeah. Just a yeah. Exactly. I mean, in this case, like, it's your first time in Philadelphia, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, yes. have you had time to explore or yeah. checked Honestly, out any sites? Not, not yet, but we usually, like, after the show, we'll all, like, go out and... South Street is a good spot to be in. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of good places around here, so I think you'll uh, you'll have cool. some fun after the show, okay. for sure. And let's talk about music. Uh, bitch is the single, right? Mm -hmm. Is it about a specific bitch or is it <laughs> a bitch in particular um there is an actual 
actually a specific bitch, surprisingly. <laughs> I, like, I write, the only, like, way I've ever written is, like, specifically about a specific bitch. Um, but I've, this song was actually just a concept that Erin McCarley, who's, like, a really, she's a really good friend of mine. She's, she co-wrote the song with me. She came up with this idea of it takes a bitch to know a bitch. And when she first said it, I, I thought it was a girl singing it to another girl. And I was, like... Right. It's a little catty. It's just a. Little, I mean, it's a really cool concept, regardless. Sure. But for me to sing, it didn't fe- it didn't really resonate. And then when she like explained it, of a boyfriend it's about saying, a dude, yeah. yeah, saying it to a girl, and and that's just said so commonly. And like we are kind of almost like trained to just be like laugh Which it off. Which blows my mind. Like, I can't imagine uh, saying that to someone yeah, in a relationship. Yeah, because you're a good. You're a good person. I would. I'd like to think I. Yeah. Am. I mean, like I can't imagine that word coming out of my mouth. Yeah, I think it just does like commonly, and and what? I think people yeah. like are just like. A, we're like just almost like trained to like just be like oh okay like there he said it again and I think that in this song it's just like a cool thing to say it back to him and, and have it be equally as much like you're a little bitch right, you know right, what right, I mean yeah. so if you're gonna give it like you're gonna yeah exactly you're gonna take it just, too yeah exactly so that was that was the concept of this song and um but yeah it was the first one that was ever written that wasn't like an actual like thing I've gone through but, but yeah, yeah I have a personal cool favorite message. Which I've been binging nonstop. Bad. That's my favorite song. Really? Dude, that song is so good. Thank you so, good. so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And as I listen to your music, I'm like, there's no way she's 19. <laughs> like just the, your overall sound, your presence, your lyrics. Oh, I mean, you. yeah. I mean, I appreciate that. A lot. Do you feel 19? Is this? Like, no. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you've not. had to grow up so so faster. Yeah. You know, being in the limelight and you know having a full time job, not being in school and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, no, that definitely like. Honestly, I think even regardless of like my career and like my sure. life I feel like I just wouldn't feel 19 anyways but I've always just like felt just this old soul just, yeah I just yeah. yeah I always have felt that way but I my like career definitely enhances that like because I mean just being on the show since I was 12 and my sister was eight like that kind of like sped the process along a little bit it def- <laughs> it definitely gave us a little head start yeah <laughs> but like in the best way but it definitely there, there's not any piece of me that like feels 19 right now yeah, yeah definitely not not so much when not I was 19 so not doing this yeah, not so no, much. it's definitely not, it doesn't feel 19. I was more working at Carabas. <laughs> Hell, I'm honestly, I'm kind of jealous of that. Like, I wish that, I hope that one day I just get, like, a really normal job. Just, no, like, at uh, just one I point, think, I, I really in the cards do. for you. Maybe, maybe I just want, like, life. One, <laughs> one, like, really normal, like, just being, like, my parents had the weirdest jobs. Like, my mom, like, she was just, like, a janitor for so long. I'm like, really? I just want to be a janitor yeah, for a second. Just for a day. Just for, for a, a day. Week, yeah. yeah, exactly. Have a normal nine to five. Yeah, literally. Come home, probably, probably take a like, shower. And, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bathe the kids. Just, like, have yeah. a normal, normal yeah, job. Yeah, get some dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dad worked in radio, so, like, that was just, I was born into it. Yeah, You know, totally. I had That's to. That's what happens. Exactly. Yeah. My parents were musicians, like, later, but they had so many, like, weird jobs to make the music career work. Like, that was the thing is, for me, it just, like, literally landed in my lap somehow, and it just has happened so organically that yeah. and there's like been like no so they never pushed you it kind of no just, it just not happened. at all yeah you just it got the literally gift happened and you just... yeah there was like zero pushing in fact like it was the opposite my mom was like are you sure you don't want to be a teacher like <laughs> yeah. the music is real tough like yeah. it's a tough industry a like, business, yeah, yeah the whole thing and an acting world like they had no idea about so that was like even more scary because like they they knew the music industry but they knew it as like a scare like it's not right. it's not easy to to make one make it work but two like to stay sane and stay human and like right. humble and um so that was scary to them but also like the acting world like they had no idea about and yeah. that's even a scarier you, you know got both. <laughs> yeah and there we are like at 12 and 8 years old like yeah. in both so definitely like it's it was they were not pushing us to it but it just happened we like it was literally no denying it and and here you are yeah on your first ever tour yes about to take the stage into a little bit this is so exciting yeah it is well thank you for uh taking some time and and hanging out with us i'm coming to the show tonight hell yeah yeah so you go on stage what time I think 8.30. 8.30? 8.30. Okay. Yes. If you need someone to watch Ocean, I'm Honestly, here for you. Yeah, for sure. We need to get her some little, like, there you go. I can ear be... things, you know? Yeah. Like, the little <laughs> yeah. headphones that the dogs wear. I'm like, yeah. she needs I got those. you. I'll, I'll be his little babysitter today. <laughs> yes. She's awesome. so cute. Lennon, it's so nice to Thank see you. you. So nice yeah, to see, see you tonight. Thank you.